Thousand people, you said they've been processed. Are they clear to continue on once they land in Qatar, or did they have so, to be held in that facility? So these are these are different uh, categories of individuals. Some will be American citizens. Uh, some will be uh, Afghans. Some will be third-party nationals. So it really depends on where they fall on that scale. And as far as the processing in Qatar, the, you know, the DOD said today you've got five to nine. The capacity, the aspirational capacity, is five to five, nine thousand a day. All those people are flying in. They're being held at the base. My understanding is processing there is very slow. It's triple-digit heat. They have MREs only. There are limited places to sleep. What is the status of getting those people processed and out the door, and where are they going? And if you can't say or you don't know, how is that possible at this point? Uh, so, um, Christina, ultimately the final destination will depend on if you're a U.S. citizen, you're coming back to your home country. Uh, if you are a third country national, you're going back to your home country. Uh, if you're an Afghan uh, national, um, we are, uh, have, we have heard generous offers. Uh, well, first I should say, uh, those SIVs who have, uh, special immigrant visa holders who have completed uh, the rigorous security vetting process, uh, they will come here, just as uh, 2,000 of them have uh, under Operation Allies Refuge. Uh, so when it comes to SIVs who are not at a particular stage, when it comes to vulnerable Afghans who aren't part of the SIV program, we have heard generous offers uh, from countries around the world. Let me just give you an update uh, on where we are. First, uh, the U.S. Embassy is in Doha and Kuwait. Uh, they have been working with uh, the military uh, and their uh, uh, Qatari and Kuwaiti counterparts uh, um, uh, respectively uh, to receive flights and to ensure the safe transit uh, of passengers to onward destination. As I mentioned, we're sending additional consular officers uh, to both Qatar and Kuwait to help uh, with this uh, processing. We're very grateful uh, to both countries that they have offered uh, their territory for uh, this processing. Uh, when it comes to Europe, Secretary Blinken had uh, a good conversation yesterday with Albanian Prime Minister Rama uh, about Albania's offer to host Afghans in need. Uh, the Secretary thanked the Prime Minister uh, for continuing Albania's proud tradition of sheltering people in need, and they uh, affirmed the close partnership between the two countries. I mentioned this statement yesterday, but for those of you who haven't seen it, the Prime Minister's uh, explanation for why Albania was doing this, predicated on his own country's history, uh, is quite powerful, uh, quite moving. Uh, we are we are in discussions with other uh, European allies um, on this uh, same on the same basis. I'm not in a position to name them right now, but um, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we also deeply appreciate Uganda's uh, generous offer of assistance. Uh, to host Afghan uh, evacuees on a temporary uh, basis. Uh, in the Western Hemisphere, of course, you're all familiar with the very generous offer uh, from our neighbor to the north. The Canadians uh, have expressed uh, a willingness to open their doors to vulnerable Afghans. Uh, we're extraordinarily grateful. Mexico and Chile uh, as well have announced their intention uh, to aid vulnerable Afghans um, with uh, refugee status or, or resettlement. Yes? What is, what, what is your processing capacity in in Doha, like how, if five to 9,000 are coming in, how many of those people who need processing, who don't have visas, who can't just get on a plane, how many can you process per day? And then secondly, are you asking for any kind of humanitarian assistance either at the airport or at that facility in Doha where we're hearing, especially at the airport, even Americans who got in are saying there's no separate line for U.S. citizens, there's minimal toilet facilities, there's nowhere to sit, they're sitting outside, it's, it, it looks pretty bad. So our goal is to move uh, individuals through those facilities as quickly as we can. That's part of the reason why we've searched consular officers to both places. Uh, what your capacity is, and are you asking for humanitarian assistance? Uh, so um, we are uh, able to process hundreds upon hundreds uh, of Afghans in each in each facility uh, per day. Uh, as I said, uh, there are other generous offers. I expect uh, our capacity will be able to speak uh, to a much greater capacity uh, in the coming days as well uh, that will allow us to process uh, thousands uh, of uh, vulnerable Afghans per day. Uh, yes, please.